First up this evening, more arrests and developments in the Telangana snooping scandal following the arrest of former state intelligence chief T. Prabhakar Rao and other former police officers in what has turned into a major scandal in the state. The key question being raised is where does the buck stop? The scandal came out in the open after a deputy superintendent of police, Pranit Rao, was arrested for allegedly destroying 50 hard drives containing enormous amount of intelligence data into snooping and spying of several political leaders apart from other intelligence data. Pranit Rao had told investigators he had destroyed the drives on orders from his then boss and SIB chief Prabhakar Rao. Meanwhile, a businessman has now filed a complaint to the chief minister that he was allegedly abducted by a former deputy commissioner of police and forced to register a property in the name of the kin of a then BRS minister and senior leader in August 2023. All of these allegations perhaps bring out into the open the murky politician, government, police nexus and raising some disturbing questions over which need to be answered by the BRS top leadership. Most importantly, was such extensive snooping possible without clearance from the top leadership of the BRS, which was in power for a decade in Telangana? Remember, joining me this evening uh, from Hyderabad, my colleague Uma Sudhir, who's been keeping a close watch on the developments there, and also special... Uh, Mr. Yashovardhan Azad, the former IPS officer who was also special director of the IB. Uh, first to you, Uma, give us the latest that you're hearing in terms of what investigators are telling you, A, and B, obviously there has to be a political reaction and in terms of linking it to somebody up in the political establishment then, what are you hearing as far as that is concerned? The investigation per se is going on at a very brisk pace. What had happened today was that uh, more officers from the special investigation branch, uh, which seems to have been indulging in not just political intelligence gathering illegally, but also the monitoring of uh, several profiles of individuals from the business field, Havala operators, uh, real estate people, jewelry business, celebrities as well, and also journalists. All of this is the network just seems to be increasing in many ways, I must say. And I just met uh, about uh, five minutes, ten minutes ago, uh, Union Minister Mr. Kishan Reddy, who is in fact from uh, Telangana. And he has said that he in fact now demands that there should be a judicial probe into this because he's saying that this is getting very, very big. And three other important allegations that the BJP is making now, uh, uh, Raghunandan, who is a senior BJP leader, has in fact said, that Revant Reddy, when he was arrested, when he was part of the TDP and uh, there was this allegation of money having been paid uh, to get a vote in the state assembly, Chandrababu Naidu's involvement, that case also happened because of phone tapping because that was in 2015 and this shows, he said, that the phone tapping issue has been happening ever since the TRS government or KCR came into power. The second thing that Kishan Reddy said, Union Minister, he is saying, that even the Munugod bipole that you would recall was a very high intense, high uh, uh, you know stakes uh, bipole. He says BJP lost the election because there was a lot of phone tapping happening and whoever was supporting the BJP, the uh, BRS was coming to know of it and approaching them and stopping them, not allowing them to function the way they should during a political campaign period. The third thing that he said was that he's of the opinion or rather he says he has been uh, uh, saying this that not just our political leaders and their families, but even the clerk in the BJP office, he says, their phones are being tapped and he thinks it's a very serious issue. And also of the import of that equipment for which you require permissions from the Home Secretary, even when phone tapping happens, obviously it is allowed only for very specific uh, reasons. For instance, the intelligence gathering against left-wing terrorism for which SIB was meant to be uh, made. That is not that was not done and therefore he believes that this is becoming very very big the unraveling of more and more information you ask the political question where does this lead up to obviously the congress and the uh, and the bjp both are pointing towards to a, uh, the first family in the prs government and saying that nothing could have been possible without them moving the coins because uh, kcr had himself in fact personally recruited or rather handpicked many of these officers that we are talking about in fact, in 2020 itself, Revant Reddy had put out a uh, video on YouTube 
very specifically mentioned all these officers T. Prabhakar Rao, SIT chief, who was made SIT chief by uh, KCR, and also Radha Kishan Rao, who was DCP in the task force right. in the city, all of who are for which, for who now lookout notices have been put out. And he is saying that at that time he had alleged that they all belong to the same community that KCR does right. and that they were forming a private army in order to get this kind of an intelligence. Back to you. Right. Uh, stay with us, Uma. I have with me Mr. Yashwardhan Azad as well. Sir, when you see something of this nature, obviously, most of us are aware that snooping happens at the police level, at every different level, and also used, abused for political purposes by establishments that are in power. But the scale of this seems to have been at a different, you know, at a different level. And also the fact that the data was destroyed seems to have led to several serious questions being asked. Yes, I mean, uh, from the report which I've seen, uh, the NDTV report itself, that almost uh, one lakh connections uh, were tapped. If that is the scale of snooping, then of course, it's, it's a kind of a staggering numbers. And uh, besides, uh, you know, technology can be used and misused. The same technology was being used brilliantly to crush the Naxalite issue in, in the combined days uh, when Andhra Pradesh was there. And if the same technology and the same tapping uh, is done for political uh, purposes, then it's obviously a threat to democracy. In this particular case, obviously, uh, uh, some of the officers really want to serve the, uh, the ruling government in a more and more enthusiastic manner. But let me tell you that this kind of a scale of uh, tapping is, is an exception. It's not really a rule because many senior officers would just plainly refuse to do this kind of political tapping and they may be shunted thereafter to the sidelines but that's good enough this cannot be allowed and i'm extremely happy what is even more worrying is that this kind of action which was done with certain impunity that so much of hardware so many hard disks have been destroyed in in the musi river and if you see the appointment of the officials, obviously this has not been above board. It is clear that some of those named officers had been brought in especially for that purpose. And if you were to ask me that if the posting is strictly done as per the professional competence and the directions of the DGP, this wouldn't have happened. So you have this over uh, you know, indulgent and, and overexcited these intelligent chiefs who want to do and bow much more than required to their chief ministers, then this is a serious threat to our democracy. Right, sir, as you make that point, and I'm completely running out of time right now, very quickly, you've had police officers, including the state intelligence bureau chief at that time, uh, now being questioned, now interrogated and taken into custody. Do you believe that anything of this nature would be possible without absolute clearance from the top political establishment? Well, obviously, you know, if uh, tapping is done for political purposes, it is not for the intelligence organization. It is obviously for the uh, political executives. So the uh, political uh, intelligence branch is bent uh, to do all this in favor of the political bosses, it's sad because it's, right. it's ultimately the leadership of the intelligence which gives in and gives in to the demands of the political executive. You're right that this is done at the political behest. Right. Right. Thanks very much there, Mr. Azad, for putting that in perspective. Obviously, Umar, this is going to evoke several political reactions, but also a concerning reality, not just in Telangana, it may have come out there in Telangana, but snooping overall is a concerning reality across the board, as we've seen in the past as well. Thanks very much there, Uma Sudhir and uh, Mr. Azad for joining us.